Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, April 23rd. So welcome to the full moon in Scorpio day. Of course, we have to go throughout the day really tweaking those different aspects, those different triggers, those different activations to let that shadow self out to play. Of course, the full moon will be popping off towards the end of the day here, kind of early evening for most parts. And so the bulk of the day is definitely going to be triggering and activating in order for us to realize what it is that we have to let go of, what we have to close the door, on what we have to purge what we have to put a death to and of course change transform our mindset our heart space into something new into something more powerful of course the Scorpio energy is very intense this is working on a soul level in order for us to kind of orient to who it is now the vibration the frequency the version of self that we have to be in order to eliminate the fears the doubts the insecurities that are currently blocking us from moving forward pursuing the path of happiness of goals of visions of dreams so of course there is an astral forecast that i put out there for this particular event if you want to go ahead take a listen to that and have a better understanding of where this energy is getting pressurized in your life, you're definitely going to be able to alchemize this energy a lot better. And of course, if you want to do a serious deep dive into this particular moon event and how it's going to relate to your chart and to your life, then you definitely should be attending the moon guide, the full moon in Scorpio. Of course, you can subscribe, get a discount on that particular feature from my website. Of course, if you're on Patreon, you are a gold member that comes free in your subscription. And if you're any other tier on Patreon, there is a discount code in our community chat to get 50% off of your access pass to this full moon event. So with that being said, we did have the moon in Libra energy go void, of course, last evening at 7 25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Scorpio energy at 11.21 a.m. here this morning. And again, because the full moon in Scorpio will be popping off at a four degree, this is going to take the better part of the day to trigger and activate the parts of us that we have to be illuminated to before that full moon peaks. So there is definitely going to be shifts and activations and tests coming at us here today in order for us to unpack our real, true, authentic selves and remove the gunk that is preventing us from expressing our true, authentic selves here in the physical realm. So there are seven different aspects taking place here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. While the moon is still in Libran energy, but void, of course, we do have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Aries energy. And again, she's in her rulership here over Taurus season, making a very positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in the Taurus energy that Venus naturally rules over. So this is going to be a huge growth, a huge realization, a huge aha moment on where it is that we are having a change of heart, therefore a change of worth, therefore a change of values, and therefore a change in our relationship dynamics. So although it could kind of trigger some sadness, some fear, some doubt, some insecurity, it is also pushing us closer to our fullest potential, realizing where it is that we are growing, we are evolving, we are doing what is best for us, even if that means that we have to be the bad guy in someone else's story. The Aries energy that Venus is currently in needs to be more independent, needs to be on a path of passion, of desire, of worth, of values, of happiness, of joy, of safety, security. And most of the time, especially taking a good look around coming out of this eclipse season, it means that we're doing things on our own. Relationship dynamics are definitely getting tweaked in a big way. And although this could trigger some sadness, it's also triggering 
a huge sense of relief, independence, and freedom. The moon, while still in this Libra and energy, while still void, going to make its last aspect before the moon shifts into Scorpio energy. The moon is going to be making a very tough interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, in his place of power in this Pisces energy. This is going to turn the volume all the way up on our sensitivity, on our confusion, on our inability to actually see the forest past the trees. We're starting to get closed-minded. We're starting to lose ourselves in the darkness. We're starting to lose ourselves in the pain, in the trauma. Now, of course, that is needed as we kind of shift into Scorpio energy. We need to be aware of the problems in order for us to grow through them, to fix them, to heal them, to repair them. Is it going to feel good? Absolutely not. Is it supposed to? Absolutely not. Is it necessary for our growth, for our changes, for our transformations? 100% yes. So lean on all the way into that. 11.21 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon will be shifting into Scorpio energy. You will feel that shift. Things are going to get very intense. We're leaving an air energy for a water energy. We're moving out of the head space, into the heart space. Scorpio energy is shadow work, so we're definitely going to feel like we are in the thick of it. About an hour later, we have the moon in Scorpio making a very positive interaction with Mars. Mars co-rules over the Scorpio energy, co-ruling over this full moon in Scorpio with Pluto. And Mars is in Pisces energy. So this is water on water action and water heals us, purifies us, cleanses us, changes us, transforms us in our emotional and spiritual realm. We're tapping into a new warrior type of spirit. Yes, there's some sadness lingering. Yes, there are fears and doubts and insecurities, but we're rising up. We're rising above. There is inspiration and motivation that we're able to tap into that we haven't been able to access in a very long time. And we are definitely building ourselves up to see the path, the blockages, the challenges through in order for us to align with a new mission, new path, new truth, new purpose, new meaning on what it is that we want to take action upon, what we actually want to pursue, what we actually want to bring to life. So there's an awkward interaction with the moon and Scorpio and Saturn, the Lord of Karma, also in this Pisces energy. This is going to bring us down a couple of pegs, give us a little bit of a reality check. This is going to feel heavy and weighted. This is when the shadow self comes out to play. Do we run from the shadow? Absolutely not. Do we turn a blind eye from the shadow? Absolutely not. What we need to do is we need to open up our mind, open up our heart space, open up our arms, integrate, embody these darker parts of self. That's how we're going to build something new. That's how we're going to move forward. That is how we have to operate in our creator force energy from a place of wholeness and from a place of power. The moon is then going to square, get in the boxing ring, fight it out with Pluto. Pluto is the great transformer himself. He's in his rulership over this full moon event. Please consider joining the moon guide, getting your chart, understanding that the majority of the aspects taking place with this particular full moon in Scorpio have a lot to do with Pluto. He is the great transformer. He is pushing for change, for transformation in our inner realm so that we can start seeing the manifestation in our outer realms. But you best believe that this isn't going to feel good. This is like the universe is peeling the scabs off of us, exposing those wounds to the air. And again, we have a different level of of awareness of enlightenment to actually observe where these pains and traumas and wounds actually came from, why they're not healing as fast as we would like, and what we can do to actually empower ourselves to get to the nitty gritty on why it is that we actually, part of us, enjoys having these pains, these triggers, these traumas to actually blame. So again, this is us getting real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves. And sometimes that means taking accountability and responsibility for setting ourselves up to fail, to self-sabotage. And again, the minute that we can kind of override this particular narrative is when we can actually move forward and be successful in manifesting some of the aspects and elements that we're currently blocked from receiving. 
7.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is going to oppose the sun. The sun, of course, in Taurus energy, the moon, of course, in Scorpio energy. They sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. This is death and creation. This is destruction and rebirth. This is why I'm going to encourage you to do the work, to access that moon guide, to piece your way through it, to understand the alchemy that is going on inside of your soul and spirit at this present moment. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Scorpio energy, making a very positive interaction with Neptune in this Pisces energy. So this is a beautiful interaction because again, we are rising up. We are aligning. We are strengthening our intuition. We are understanding the vision, the goal, the dream. We are healing, changing, transforming from the darkness, from those sore spots that got exposed to the air, full illumination under that full moon earlier on in the day we are seeing things from a different level we are understanding where our soul and our spirit is being renewed from the breakdown and now we are moving into the breakthrough